So for those of you guys who follow a lot of drama based channels, well I wouldn't exactly call them drama based channels, but, but commentary channels in general, something you'll find that they say whenever another YouTube glitch pops up is that YouTube is shutting down their channel. Now, I, I got a pretty good question, you, got, you guys can probably already predict it, but uh, the, the question is why, like, you see... <clears throat> something I find kind of strange is like, so this new YouTube glitch, alright, I'm not gonna make a video on it because I feel like at this point I just like rant about YouTube drama, which is not what I wanna, what I want this channel to go off of, I want this channel to go off of me talking about stuff that I don't like, which is what I had it envisioned for in the beginning when I made the kids on YouTube video and then it kind of stopped, so uh, yeah, I, I want to get back to that, but uh, anyway, so, so let's stay on topic. So this YouTube glitch, what it is, is once a person uploads a video, uh, usually like a bigger channel or something, someone that has like a sizable uh, subscriber base, they actually lose some subs, which is not really good, um, especially if you are like a smaller channel, like if this is happening to like channels um, that are at like 50 subs and they're losing like 300 subscribers each time they upload, it can be pretty bad news for them, um, especially if they upload a lot or if they they rely on quantity, quantity over quality. Which, uh, <laughs> funnily enough, yeah, your boy Magic Bacon TV doesn't do that, which is kind of something I take pride in doing. I like to put as much time into a video as I can rather than just like forcing out daily videos, you know, and stuff like that. I, I don't really go that route, so so yeah. But with this new glitch, something that I've noticed a lot, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use Pyrocynical as an example, but this can go with literally just about any YouTuber that uses this format. Um, Philip DeFranco last time when like he was getting demonetized and stuff, and he said, "Oh, YouTube shutting down my channel," like stuff like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll uh. Well, we'll just use Pyrocynical as an example, but just know that he isn't the only culprit at all. There are plenty of YouTubers, especially commentary YouTubers, um, that will just talk about the stuff, hop on the trends. Uh, I'm going to make another video about bandwagoning probably, and uh, probably another video about self-awareness and YouTubers claiming it to gain some sort of immunity, and uh, I'll, I'll do that one day, but uh, for, for now, well, let's just talk about this. So Pyrocynical is saying his channel is getting shut down. Now, like I said before, I can't stand when YouTubers do this because, for one, your channel is not getting shut down. You losing, you, you gaining half the amount of subs that you do each day, which I'm sure is hundreds, that, that's not you getting your channel shut down. You're still able to sustain yourself. You're still able to sustain your channel, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean... If not, well, I, I don't know. You must just be scraping by or something. With what you're, you're over a million subscribers. Uh, S still waiting on that. Um, still waiting on that one million sub video. Uh, Pyro, uh, can, can you please hurry up? Um, thanks. Now, for those of you guys who may be like, well, you know, Magic Bacon TV, or, or we're just gonna call me Bacon at the, you know, no, we're just gonna use my real name. We're gonna call me Austin, okay? So, well, well Austin, you know. Well, what, what's gonna happen now, man? These channels, they're growing half as fast. They're not gonna be able to, uh, produce enough revenue, enough views to, uh, to, to, to yeah, to, to make more revenues to stay in your channel, man. They're, they're gonna die. They're, they're gonna die. Well, no, no. No, they're not. Now, if you're at, like, like I said before, if you're at, like, 50,000 subscribers and you're losing 300 subs a day and you're uploading, like, daily stuff, quantity over quality, stuff like that, you know, then, yeah, you're, you're, you might get shut down. But these guys, they have, like, millions of subscribers and you know here they are saying uh oh, oh yeah man my, my channel's getting shut down i'm not growing as much they're still getting enough views pyro breaks at least like 400k views a video most of the time more than that um leafy at least gets like a million views probably i'm sure i'm sure I, I don't watch the guy anymore let's face it who does so yeah with a lot of these youtubers saying that they're usually in the same boat they usually have millions of subscribers they're getting hundreds of thousands of views and stuff like that and here they are saying oh my gosh my, my channel's being shut down uh, i won't be able to uh ma make uh, so many subscribers and lose like 10 percent of my revenue <laughs> and stuff like that it just gets really annoying guys and so, <clears throat> for those of you guys who may be confused, let me tell you about the time channels have actually almost got shut down. I hate everything, for example, when he made the video talking about destroying the little- well, not really talk about it, it was more of a him, uh, some bludgeoning objects, and, uh, uh, a DVD called The Little Panda Fighter. He, he just completely wrecked that thing. It, it was great. Great video. 10 out of 10. But, uh, you see- <clears throat> With YouTube's amazing copyright system, it's flawless, 10 out of 10, would recommend. It basically did this thing where, uh, 
they they took his channel down just like that. No notification, no no like prior notice or anything from YouTube or Twitter or something like that. No, just completely erase. And uh, yeah, if it wasn't for such a public outcry, he wouldn't have even gotten like his channel back. Which is as much as I want to say it, that that's like almost getting it. Well, he did get his channel shut down for sure, but he he eventually did actually. He he kind of reached beyond the realm of death. And then came back, you know, it, it, I don't know, so some, something strange like that. And I know Pyro has been dealing with the same issue too, of almost getting his channel deleted. Heck, he got some strikes from Rice Man and uh, Sam Pepper, for example. So yeah, like that would almost, that that is almost getting your channel deleted. Clickbaiting your videos just to hop on the trend of YouTube drama, that's not almost getting your channel shut down. That That's just called you being a, a bit of a scumbag, to be honest. And I know you guys are saying, well, well, well Austin, you, you you talked about YouTube drama. Uh, you talked about the YouTube's demonetization stuff. Um, you, you talked about the, the T. Martin, the T. T Martin CS go lot. Okay, yeah, that's true. But I didn't clickbait that video, necessarily. Heck, I even made an entire video talking about why I hate clickbait. Why well, I can't stand YouTubers who do it. Because usually the YouTubers that clickbait the most don't need to clickbait at all because they already get hundreds of thousands of views but that, that, that that's an, that you, you guys can go watch that video and yeah i feel like honestly it's just gotten so bad to this point where youtubers getting their channel shut down I'm gonna get it's just like a grab for views at this point like it's almost just not even worth it to actually put like decent effort in actually making a video when these guys just go oh yeah i'm gonna make a video talking about how youtube is not shutting down my channel at all and you know and, and like I said too, like you, everyone was saying that with the whole like demonetization stuff. And then look at that, like now no one even cares anymore. No one's making videos like, oh my gosh, YouTube shutting down my channel. And it'll probably be the same in like, I, I'd probably give it a few days from when this video is uploaded, you know. People who are making these videos, they're not going to care anymore because, you know, they, 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 the, the trend's done. It's, gone, it's done and over with. I'm pretty sure if this glitch is still going on like a week from now. And like a bunch of YouTubers were waiting, or like let's let's say like let's say for example Pyrocynical was waiting like a week after the whole like YouTube glitch stuff was kind of discovered, and then oh oh my gosh YouTube hasn't fixed it it's still going on you know he could make that video then and then you know it wouldn't get as much views so I feel like at this point it's really just a grab for straws especially with the amount of clickbait these guys put in just to hop on the trending topic which isn't necessarily a bad thing trending topics can be something good to uh, talk about especially if you have some sort of insight or thoughts that aren't really considered in a lot of videos discussing the sort of drama but the stuff these guys do is just pathetic so uh uh we're, we're right about the 10 minute mark i mean when i edit this i'm pretty sure it'll be like uh the eight minute mark but um yeah that's okay though so in recap youtubers who are getting their channel shut down no they're not getting their channel shut down to be honest with you they'll probably just forget about this a week from now they're still not losing um, as much revenue. They're still growing. They're still getting hundreds of thousands of views, which determine the sustainability of your channel. If you, you can have a million subscribers and get like 10 views a video and you're not really supporting yourself, but you can get like, t you can have like 10 subscribers, get like a million views a video and you'll be supporting yourself then, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. And two, it's really just an excuse to get views from like YouTube, like trending, trending topics and stuff like that. I know that's like a big, big trigger word, like, like no one likes to... No one likes to discuss the, the whole, like, YouTube trending. And honestly, it just feels like an excuse to, you know, clickbait and get more views just from talking about trending topics. Putting, because, <coughs> because let me remind you guys, putting, there, there's no effort into talking about trending topics, especially when you're someone like Pyrocynical who made a, a god-awful excuse for, uh, for, for a Marina Joyce video. Just basically restating stuff that's already been said. And honestly, it just feels like an excuse to try to get more views on a video that already takes no effort because, let's face it guys, talking about trending topics, it doesn't take much effort because you have you have all the stuff already laid out for you you just need to talk about it so i feel like that's also another reason why these guys will say oh me my channel is getting shut down it's obviously for the clickbait aspect of it but it's also i feel like to to kind of draw in i feel like well like i said like more people so yeah clickbait but yeah and it also kind of sucks too for channels that actually did get their channel shut down or almost did at one point and then here like yeah they'll make a video talking about yeah my channel got shut down and i'm back you know everything's all good uh, and stuff like that talk to youtube you know it's all it's all great it's all fine and dandy and then these guys come along they they uh, they grow half as much they'll lose like 10 percent of the revenue if that and they're barely even like get and they're like they're not really losing any views and they're like, oh yeah, you know, YouTube's shutting down my channel. I'm getting all these, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing so many subs, you know. Uh, 
<laughs> oh gosh, what is this video? I'm losing positive 20 subscribers and stuff like that, you know? Oh my gosh, it's at a positive 40. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so honestly, it's just really annoying to see YouTubers do this, mostly because they don't need to. They could literally make a video just talking about like how like YouTube is broken again and then have like kind of like a series just talking about like YouTube is broken stuff and but but no, it's just like oh YouTube is shutting down my channel, which is completely over exaggerated. It's not true at all. And it's extremely unnecessary for YouTubers to do this because for one, YouTube isn't shutting down your channel. And two, there have been times where multitude of YouTubers, probably some that like I don't even know about really because a lot of these guys don't really have that many subs compared to like other big YouTubers who are talking about this stuff. Some of those channels, yeah, they like actually did almost get their channel shut down. And yet you have some, some, some idiots over here going, YouTube shutting down my channel and they're just losing a very, very small, small portion of their sub count as well as losing probably a very small, very, very, very small portion of the revenue and stuff. So uh, that's kind of my thoughts on this whole, like, oh, YouTuber saying, like, oh, YouTube is starting out my channel and stuff like that, and yeah. So yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like down below and uh, comment what videos you guys want me to do next, and uh, subscribe to keep up to date with um, mm. <coughs> all my stuff, and uh, yeah, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time.